Police say this is how the system is designed to work. We have a crime. The information is then put out to the public along with pictures and surveillance video of the people they're looking for. And a tip comes into Crime Stoppers. Police act on that tip and two people are arrested. And in addition to that, we're learning about the moments when officers first arrived on scene, realizing that two people were shot and killed and there was a child that needed to be cared for. After police release video of the shooting at the Marathon gas station, the community steps up and speaks out. A tip led to two people now in custody for the murder of Benson Harris Lindsay and his girlfriend, Marche Nash. Officers Hunar Chutak and his partner, Kenyatta Martin, were two of the first to arrive at the Marathon on West Warren on Monday night. While I was running up to the car, I saw two victims in the car and then I just could hear a baby crying. He immediately tried to help the victims, parents of this nine-month-old baby. I couldn't feel any pulse. I picked up the baby and uh, I, ma I made sure there's no injuries and thank God there was none. The officer handed over baby Braylon to his partner. It was cold out, took him in the car to warm him up and he was still crying so I had turned on kids YouTube for him on my phone to like calm him down. In her squad car with the child, the gravity of the situation hit her. I was just sitting in the car, like, just thinking, like, okay, now he's, like, I have him, but his parents is, like, gone. He doesn't have his parents anymore. The next day, police are joined by community activists calling for people to come forward and bring justice for what police describe as a targeted ambush, the nine-month-old in his mother's arms when she and the father are shot and killed. As we as a community, we have to come together and then gun violence has to stop. All of this culminating this afternoon when acting on a tip, undercover officers who were surveilling the suspects moved in and made the arrest. Reporting live tonight, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Well, this just goes to show you that Crime Stoppers does work. It helps solve cases. Did police reveal anything more about their investigation? Are they looking for anyone else in this crime? And they certainly are. They're, act, they're asking the public for even more help. They say they're mi likely weren't acting alone. They're hoping that more tips will come in. They also have recovered a weapon. But anyone who does have information, the number to call, 1-800-SPEAK-UP.